Hello YouTube, this is the Polar Buffalo here, and this is episode one of my creative build series. Alright, this is episode one of uh, the new series I'm going to be starting, where I, you know, tutorial how to build, you know, awesome creative mode structures in Minecraft. Today, we're going to be doing a castle. Done many castles before, they're a really cool thing to build. They can be built out of many things. They can be built out of stone bricks, nether bricks, or even just sand. Castles can also have many different features and decorations and moats. There can be Lava moats, water moats, flags, awesome ships in harbor, and even awesome unnameless things that look cool. In this tutorial, we'll be combining all the sweet castle making techniques for one mega fortress of epicosity. Yay! The first thing to do when making a castle is find the land you're going to build it on and even it out. Make nice flat ground. Let's do that. Alright, I think this ground's nice and even. The second task is to pick out our base building material. Think for the main castle, we'll do stone bricks. They're simplistic, you know. They're just easy to work with. Alright. I always start with making the towers several methods of doing this. A tower can have a base structure like this, like this, or like this. This one is personally my favorite because the end result looks like this. Alright, so we have our tower set up here, and now it's time to begin the crenellations. I find the easiest way to do this Let's put down stairs like this, upside down, to mount the crenellations on. So, put a nice good even ring around the tower, like so. I did it. I placed a block in Minecraft. Alright. No, nope, no. This is a rather finicky process. Alright, so we have our upside down stairs down. Now, put the crenellations on. At every edge of the tower, we put one. And the stairs are needed because, you know, otherwise, you know, you just don't have enough space in the tower. See, if I were to put the crenellations right here at the edge, you'd, you just won't have enough space. It's a, it's a matter of space. So here I go. I find for the best look, you put all the crenellations in the corners. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Yeah, so where you want the crenellations, you know, look like crenellations, you put them high like that, and every other block. So we go here, 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 and done. Now, I'm going to copy this process in another corner. You need to find all the places you're going to put towers, and then you connect them with walls. So I'll finish putting the towers. Alright, so we have all our towers done here, and we've used up uh, all the space, so now the first thing to do is connect them with walls. Find the easiest wall to start off with, uh, there, is the gatehouse. So, you want to make sure your walls aren't at the same height as the tower, because that's just, it's, 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 there, it's not a wall, it's a, it's something. So yeah. The build up, I'd say about two thirds of the height. So let me see, I counted this earlier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Outside of the, for these towers, I want my uh, walls eight high. Yeah, but, yeah, no, that seems a little too high. We'll put seven there. And the gate starts off looking like a normal wall, but then, you know, the gate part comes in. Alright, so here's our simple wall segment. Now we begin the actual arch of the gatehouse. So, 
you know, the gatehouse starts kind of like, you know, it gets thinner as it goes up. Basically, it's an arch. So, like so. I'm gonna leave it three high at the bottom. So nice, lots of room. So you have our nice good archway. There, and now there are several ways of building the portcullis. It can be out of fence posts. Another brick fence. And they can even be built out of iron bars, however, I find iron bars, they don't look uniform. Let's see. This is all sporadic. Well, this is nice, neat, and organized, so I don't use iron bars. Typically, I think, you know, to use nether brick looks like the metallic one for a portcullis, so I use that for the inner keep, usually, and regular wooden fence. Oh, uh, uh, all right, regular wooden fence for the uh, portcullis on the outside. And I leave it open, you know, don't want it closed, because then you have no way to get in, and that's just boring. But first, so... In here is where we put the. All right, yeah. Just a minute. Um, all right, there. And now seal it up, make it look nice and pretty with stairs. And I choose to use cobblestone because it stands out from the stone bricks nicely. Ah, complements them. To use fancy art terms. All right, there. And got covered up at the top. Yeah. There we go. We have a gate. Ta-da! Actually, I'm gonna bring it down one further so it looks, so you can tell that it's there more easily. It leaves it only leaves two for walking in two blocks, but yeah, you can still walk there. Alright, as you can see, I've set up the other two walls, uh, uh, yeah, except for this one. I did that because I find building diagonal walls, especially one as uneven as this, can be tricky, so I'm going to walk you through the process. Alright, so, there is no uh, one single way to do it, yes, do whatever fits the current uh, predicament. So. Alright, we'll pull the diagonal like this. But we're gonna flatten it out so we can head straight. Nice good curved wall. Alright, now the trick to putting crenellations on is the same as towers. Put one high on each edge and then two high at the right intervals. The tower here counts kind of as one crenellation, so I always I'll do it like that. And the crenellations need to match, they need to be like this for both sides of the wall. So, but that gets a little bit tricky when you do it on a diagonal wall. As you can see, because now you're facing like this and this be here while this be here. It's, it's tricky. Alright, so we'll put up the correlations. And sometimes it ends up like this, you know. And that's not very presentable, but yeah. It works. Alright. So you have one walking space and then you have the correlations on the other side. However, after that, you need access to the towers, which I haven't done from the bottom yet. But anyways, I'm going to finish crenellating each of the rest of these walls. Alright, so now we have all our walls here crenellated, but the next step is to make the towers accessible, you know, get to the top of the tower. Now there are two ways of doing this. Obviously first you need to put your door at the bottom. However, you can either put, oh, let me fix this. I did it with my mind. All right. So you can build a staircase up, or you can build ladders up. However, <clears throat> I think for the sake of simplicity, I will do a ladder instead of a staircase, because as you can see, a staircase is a very confusing thing to build. So for simplicity's sake, we'll do a ladder instead of a uh, staircase. Alright. 
I always want to have your door on the outside of the tower rather than the inside because then it's not one solid wall. So you want to do it like that. It's really tricky when you get to diagonals like down here and here, but then you just do something like this and ta-da, your problem's fixed. No, whatever. You also want to make sure you have something like this to make it, like, you know, it melds together. So I'm going to finish that with the rest of the towers. Alright, so I have all my doors here. Now the only thing to do is pretty simple. You put one solid ladder up to the top of the tower and wherever there's doors, obviously, put a walking platform and then put a hole through it for, you know, the purpose of the ladder getting through. I'm going to do that. Alright. And then obviously wherever the ladder's going to be, I think right at the back of the towers is where you want to poke a hole through these walking platforms so that the ladder can get through. Alright, so that's what you want to do. I'll repeat that for the other towers. And, uh, yeah. When you finish a tower, obviously, uh, put slabs like this, because then, you know, for the short crenellations and crenellations period, instead of it being kind of like, you know, too high to see anything down from, you can step up to the crenellation as well, so you have better view. It's kind of a bit of a confusing principle, but trust me, it's a, it's a good touch. Okay, so right here is your very basic, simplest possible castle, but there's nothing in it, so, ah, get out the clap. I'm gonna do something about that.